Hi everyone, my name is Anish Gupta and in this video we will be doing the detailed analysis of different engineering colleges. Now please note that this is the part 2 of the video called how to choose the right college. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video first because in that video I talk about something called a priority order. So if you don't know about that then please go watch that video first. I have provided links in the description box and as well as somewhere on the screen right now. So please click that and after seeing that video come here for the detailed analysis. So let us start with the most prestigious institutes of our country which is IITs. So not all IITs are same. So these are the basic categories of IIT. So uh, these are the old IITs, the top 7 IITs. Then there were new IITs established in 2008. Then again in 2015 and 16 new IITs were established. Uh, these are generally referred as the new IITs. Now talking of old IITs, we have Madras, Delhi, Bombay, Kharagpur, Kanpur, Roorkee and Guwahati. One interesting thing to note that is that there is no gap between their rankings that these are all sequential 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This means that if you are going into these colleges then you can be sure of that you are going into the most prestigious and the best colleges of the country. Now talking about the features of IIT so the good features are that uh, of course the placements uh, the 1 crore placements you hear of uh, those placements are from these colleges only. Uh, now let me remind you that 1 crore is the international placement and that basically translates to 35 lakhs per annum in India and uh, when we talk of domestic packages then uh, you can expect the highest placement to go somewhere around 45 to 45 lakhs per annum and average placements here are usually uh, 12 to 15 lakhs per annum and uh, these colleges are the best for future studies extracurricular activities there is a vast variety of that many clubs are there campus is beautiful and usually uh, IITs have huge campuses equipped with all the facilities you need uh, all your dream companies Amazon Facebook Google come here and uh, all in all I would say that it is best for the guys who are looking for uh, placements or uh, for future research on and also for the people who are looking to do a startup in future these are the best colleges you can go for and uh, yes freedom in campus now I'm I'm mentioning this because uh, comparing to NITs there are many restrictions on campus especially on girls that they cannot get out after 8 o'clock out of their hostels so these kind of restrictions are not there in IITs uh, as long as you are in campus you are free to do anything at any time so that is a plus point here now of course there are some cons also so let us discuss that so yes uh, this is a government college after all so hostels are not very hygienic fees is higher than NITs Okay, and these are usually far from the city so this is a big deal because when you're in college you expect to go out in city and have fun but uh, that won't happen every day when you're in an IIT because uh, usually they are located far away from the city and you won't be able to go out every day usually what happens is at max you can go to two to three times a week to the city and in general what happens is most people go only once a week out of the campuses 75% attendance rule now this is also a big thing uh, when you get in college you'll realize that uh, this 75% uh, attendance is not that easy to maintain especially when you're in college you have to do many different activities that is why uh, this is a rule which you have to keep in mind and yes no day scholars allowed now it can be a pro for some con for some it is for you to figure out that whether you are okay with your hostel or you uh, want to be a day scholar but yeah if you go into IITs you don't really have enough choice you will have to stay in hostel now let us talk about the other category which is uh, 2008 established IITs now these many IITs were established in 2008 and if you see the NIRF rankings of these colleges then you'll see a trend that uh, maybe there's a gap of one or two till here till Gandhi Nagar it's fine but after that the gap is increasing rapidly like now after this there's a gap of five and here it's a gap of almost 20 different colleges so uh, they should not have been included in this list but uh, technically since they were established in 2008 that is why they are also in the same list but uh, usually the common features of these colleges will be applicable from IIT Hyderabad till IIT Gandhinagar so the features are that highest placements here are usually uh, 30 lakhs per annum this is domestic and I'm considering all the IITs so it might be that IIT Hyderabad is getting higher placements but uh, usually what uh, on average happens is 30 lakhs per annum you can expect to be the highest placement of that college then 8 to 10 lakhs per annum is the average placement which is good enough uh, new facilities will be there since these are new IITs maybe new libraries will be there and hostels will be in good condition so that is a good point but yeah the clubs or fests 
won't be too active I'm, I'm not saying that there aren't any good fests or there aren't any fests but they won't be too active as compared to the old IITs it is definitely good for people who want to go for placements and uh, do re some sort of research not basically idle for startups because uh, these don't have enough alumni base at the moment they only have at max 7 to 8 batches which are graduated from the college now talking of new IITs so these are the new IITs they are one thing you should know that these IITs were established in 2015 or 16 so no placement statistics is available since their first batch was graduated in 2019 or to be graduated in 2020 and uh, many buildings are still under construction now it might help in future studies but i recommend it only to the people who are uh, going to do research in future that who are going to apply uh, for masters or phd in their future and they are considering research as an option and to be frank uh, i personally don't recommend these colleges because you should go for the better colleges rather than the brand name so please do look around before considering these iits that whether are you getting any good nits or bits so uh, talking of nits let us just start with nits so nits there are a huge number of nits so this is the list and this list is not ending here list is continuing till here now there are more nits but uh, I have considered only till top 150 because after that there are many private colleges better than these NITs. So yeah, here also uh, the good ones will be like in the top 50, these ones till Durgapur, I would say, or also till Silchar can be considered also. These are very good NITs and uh, let us talk about the features of NITs. So highest placements usually is 25 lakhs per annum. Now it is considering various NITs and uh, the top ones like the top 10 ones so this is the uh, highest placements you can expect from NITs and average placements will be somewhere around 6 to 7 lakhs per annum and uh, campus is uh, not that big compared to IIT so you might feel a bit congested also same as with the hostels and it is uh, good for like placements and all uh, still 6 to 8 lakhs per annum is a good number if you're thinking that it is very less then let me tell you uh, the average salary of engineer in India is way lower than this number and clubs are fairly active uh, and fests also in old NITs only so please also look for the year of establishment for these NITs before you apply for them and a good thing about them is that yes they are located near cities so this is one good thing that you can enjoy your life outside the campus also if you don't uh, enjoy too much inside because there is not much to be honest inside the campus so you can go out in city, have fun, maybe go for some movies or clubs. Now let us talk of Bits Pilani. Now this is not a government college. Uh, this has a separate exam. Now it is one of the very highly reputed institutes in India. So we will also consider this. So Bits Pilani has basically three campuses. Pilani which was the main campus. Then the Goa campus came and then in 2008, finally Hyderabad campus was established. And talking of placements, there is not much difference. Yes, Pilani is on a higher side. But if you see the difference, it is not that much like you can see the numbers here and uh, it tells you that whether you go into any campus, the placements will be almost similar. Uh, what will be different is in Pilani, you will find more culture and by culture, I mean that more number of alumni. So it, it will be good for startups basically and also for research and everything. Uh, Pilani campus will be way better than these colleges. But if you just talk and terms of pure placements then these colleges are almost equal then let us talk about some pros for all campuses so now now we take considering all three campuses here so very good academics like uh, it is in, in fact better than IITs I've talked to many students and uh, the general opinion is that professors here are way better than those in IITs there are a wide range of courses offered here so that is uh, one good thing technical clubs are very good here you can find some very good activities happening in technical clubs no reservation system and zero percent attendance rule now this is actually a jewel uh, when you ask any engineer because uh, handling attendance along with uh, your co-curriculars can be sometimes very difficult so when you are given this liberty of uh, having this zero percent attendance and still giving the exam so that is a very good thing here in bits of course there are many cons too so yes fees is very high almost double than IITs and IITs are let me tell you IITs are already higher on a higher side so it is double than IITs so yes fees is high then academics is good 
but also very difficult in these colleges and these colleges and campuses very good but it is not as branded as iits if you ask a no commoner who doesn't know much about engineering so they'll probably undervalue this but still uh, when it comes to making a decision you should not be thinking about others you should be thinking only about yourself so this is a very good thing to go and i would say that ideally you should consider bits after the top 7 iits